Welcome back. Today, we have an exciting topic to discuss, the BCG vaccine. The Bacillus calmet garin, or BCG, vaccine has been around for nearly a century, and it's one of the most widely used vaccines in the world. In this video, we'll explore what the BCG vaccine is, and the potential benefits it offers. So, let's get started. What is tuberculosis? Tuberculosis, TB, is a contagious infectious disease caused by the bacterium Mycobacterium tuberculosis. It primarily affects the lungs but can also target other parts of the body. TB spreads through the air when an infected person coughs or sneezes. Common symptoms include persistent cough, chest pain, fatigue, and weight loss. TB is curable with appropriate treatment but can be life-threatening if left untreated. Prevention measures include vaccination and infection control practices. BCG is a vaccine primarily used to prevent tuberculosis TB, infection. What is BCG vaccine? BCG stands for Bacillus calmet garin. It is a vaccine primarily used to prevent tuberculosis TB, infection. The BCG vaccine contains a weakened strain of the bacteria Mycobacterium bovis, which is related to the bacterium that causes TB, Mycobacterium tuberculosis. The vaccine is named after its developers, Albert Calmet and Camille Guerin, who developed it in the early 1920s. BCG is one of the most widely used vaccines in the world and is particularly administered to infants and children in regions with a high prevalence of TB. How BCG Vaccine is Manufactured The manufacturing process of the BCG vaccine involves several stages. While specific details may vary between manufacturers, here is a general overview of how the BCG vaccine is produced. Selection of BCG strain the process begins with obtaining a seed strain of Mycobacterium bovis that has been previously attenuated and characterized for vaccine production. This seed strain serves as the starting material. Culture preparation. The selected BCG strain is grown and cultured in a laboratory. Initially, a small sample of the bacteria is inoculated into a culture medium. The culture is then allowed to grow under controlled conditions, typically in flasks or bioreactors. Large-scale production. Once an adequate amount of bacterial growth is achieved, the culture is transferred to larger bioreactors to facilitate large-scale production. The bioreactors provide the necessary nutrients and conditions for the bacteria to continue multiplying. Harvesting and washing. When the bacterial culture reaches the desired stage of growth, it is harvested. The culture is usually centrifuged to separate the bacterial cells from the liquid medium. The resulting pellet contains the concentrated bacteria. The harvested bacterial cells undergo a series of washing steps to remove any residual growth medium components. Vaccine formulation and packaging. Washed bacterial cells are mixed with stabilizers and additives to create the final vaccine formulation. These additives help to maintain the vaccine's stability, efficacy, and shelf life. The vaccine is then filled into vials or ampules under sterile conditions. Quality control. The manufactured BCG vaccine undergoes rigorous quality control testing to ensure safety, potency, and consistency. This includes testing for sterility, purity, and potency, as well as evaluating the vaccine's stability under different conditions. Distribution. Once the vaccine batches pass quality control tests and regulatory approvals, they are packaged, labeled, and prepared for distribution to healthcare facilities and vaccination programs. It's important to note that the manufacturing process of the BCG vaccine is highly regulated, and adherence to strict quality control measures is crucial to ensure the safety and effectiveness of the vaccine. How BCG Vaccine Work The BCG vaccine works by stimulating the body's immune system to recognize and mount a response against Mycobacterium tuberculosis, the bacterium that causes tuberculosis TB. Here's a simplified explanation of how the BCG vaccine works. Introduction of BCG Vaccine When the BCG vaccine is administered, a small amount of the live attenuated strain of Mycobacterium bovis is injected into the body, usually through a shallow injection just beneath the skin. Activation of the immune response The weakened BCG bacteria are recognized as foreign invaders by the immune system. This recognition triggers a cascade of immune responses aimed at eliminating the bacteria. Phagocytosis and antigen presentation Immune cells called macrophages engulf the BCG bacteria through a process called phagocytosis. Within the macrophages, the BCG bacteria are broken down, and specific fragments of the bacteria, known as antigens, are presented on the surface of the macrophages. Activation of T-cells 
The antigens displayed on the surface of macrophages are recognized by a type of white blood cells called T cells. This recognition activates T cells and prompts them to multiply and differentiate into different types of T cells, including CD4 plus T cells and CD8 plus T cells. Cell-mediated immune response. CD4 plus T cells play a crucial role in coordinating the immune response. They release chemical signals, known as cytokines, that help activate other immune cells, such as macrophages and natural killer cells. CD8 plus T cells, also known as cytotoxic T cells, directly attack cells that have been infected with mycobacterium tuberculosis. Formation of memory cells. As the immune response progresses, some T cells become memory cells. These memory cells, remember, the specific antigens of mycobacterium tuberculosis, providing the long-term immunity. If the body encounters the bacterium in the future, the memory cells can quickly mount a targeted immune response to eliminate it. Who require BCG vaccination? The BCG vaccination is typically recommended for certain groups of individuals based on the prevalence of tuberculosis, TB, in their region or specific risk factors. Here are some general guidelines regarding who may require BCG vaccination. Infants and children. BCG vaccination is commonly recommended for infants and children in countries with a high burden of TB. It is typically given shortly after birth or during early childhood. The vaccine is often administered to protect children from severe forms of TB, such as TB meningitis and disseminated TB. Close contacts of individuals with infectious TB. Close contacts of individuals who have active, infectious TB, especially young children, may be recommended to receive BCG vaccination to reduce their risk of developing TB. Healthcare workers. In some countries, healthcare workers who are at increased risk of occupational exposure to TB, such as those working in TB clinics or laboratories, may be advised to receive BCG vaccination. Individuals traveling to or residing in high TB burden areas, People planning to travel to or reside in regions with a high prevalence of TB may be considered for BCG vaccination, especially if they will have prolonged exposure to the local population. Individuals with specific medical conditions. In certain circumstances, individuals with specific medical conditions that increase their susceptibility to TB, such as HIV infection or certain immunodeficiencies, may be recommended to receive BCG vaccination. The decision to administer BCG vaccination should be made in consultation with healthcare professionals who can assess individual risk factors and consider local guidelines and recommendations. Is there any AEFI associated with BCG vaccine? AEFI stands for Adverse Events Following Immunization. While the BCG vaccine is generally safe, like any vaccine, it can have some potential adverse effects. Here are some commonly reported AEFI associated with BCG vaccination. Local reactions. The most common adverse reaction is a local reaction at the injection site. This can include redness, swelling, tenderness, and the formation of a small blister or ulcer. These reactions usually resolve on their own without treatment. Regional lymphadenitis. BCG vaccination can cause enlargement and inflammation of the lymph nodes near the injection site. This can result in the formation of a firm, often painless lump in the armpit or neck area. It usually resolves without treatment but can take several weeks to months. Suppurative lymphadenitis. In rare cases, the regional lymphadenitis mentioned above can progress to suppurative lymphadenitis, where the enlarged lymph node becomes infected and forms an abscess. This may require medical intervention, such as drainage and antibiotics. Disseminated BCG infection. Although extremely rare, dissemination of the BCG vaccine strain can occur in individuals with severe immunodeficiency. This can lead to localized or systemic infections, which may require medical intervention. It's important to note that severe adverse reactions associated with BCG vaccination are very rare. Most reported AEFI are mild and self-limiting. If you or your child experience any concerning symptoms or adverse reactions after BCG vaccination, it is important to consult a healthcare professional for evaluation and appropriate management. Conclusion BCG vaccine has been a valuable tool in the prevention of tuberculosis TB, for many years. It provides partial protection against severe forms of TB, particularly in children, and has contributed to the reduction of TB-related complications. The BCG vaccine continues to play an important role in TB control efforts, particularly in high-burden areas, and remains an essential tool in the fight against this infectious disease. That's it for today's video on the BCG vaccine. 
I hope you found this information helpful and informative. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more health-related content. Thank you for watching, and stay healthy.